Hi, this is Eric, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy V. Last time we explored the Library of the Ancients and found Ned, and he's taken off to go find some. Uh, we're gonna get into a battle, and then we're gonna go after uh, Ned to see what's going on. Lena using a fire rod. Uh, she has got so again, I'm gonna try to stay out of the desert. So I can run into another one of those dormy or dorm or whatever to come near those. Level, skill level three. Um, yeah, he's gonna stay as a mystic knight for right now. And we'll get into some more battles. And we are back at Karnak. Let me go and make a save. Let's go back to the bar and see if we can find Mid and see, Mid and see if he's arrived to talk to his, uh, to his grandfather, Seb. Our very original names, Mid and Seb. Seb. Mid isn't here. Come on, man. Pull yourself together. Leave me alone. Don't waste your time on the worthless old lump like me. Grandpa. Ned? Talk about grandpa abuse. Ouch, man, stop that. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, you silly old fool? You never give up. Never. Ned? You always told me not to be afraid of failing. That if you messed up, you just had to start over and try again. What happened to that, Ned? Ned, just try again. Ned, you're absolutely right. Of course I am. It's not over. The Earth Crystal is still out there. Yeah, but where? That I don't know, but we've got to find it and protect it. Do that. We'll need the fire card check. I'm right about it, aren't I? Yes, we'll need it to get the fire card ship in the young, but without the crystal. Way ahead of you, Grandpa. Just look at this. Oh, where you did this up? Ah, I see like that. Nice work, man. This could do it. Alright, let's get to work. Yeah. So yeah, now we gotta return to the fire parrot ship and see what Sid and Ned are up to now with the fire parrot ship. Uh, maybe I didn't mention it, or maybe so no one did, but the fire parrot ship right now can only be used by the fire crystal, which has unfortunately shattered. So yeah, the fire ship's kind of useless now that there's not the fire crystal or the or the wind. You'll have to excuse me. He's all fired up. We'll take care of the ship so you get it busy and just sit tight. Now, get ready for some plot dump, uh, viewers, because there is uh, some plot dump. Not fully, but we are going to learn a little bit more about our friend Gale up here. 
Yes, you, you do look even stranger than usual. Caleb, are you alright? like I could almost remember. Yeah, that just happened two seconds ago, Galef. <laughs> Grandpa. Ned? Grandpa. Cryo. Ouch, man, stop that. What are you doing? So yeah, basically that seems some triggered some memories for Galef. What am I doing? What are you doing, you silly old fool? You never give up, never. <clears throat> Ow, hey, knock it off. Silly old fool. Cry Cryo. Gale, what happened? Did you remember something? Um, I'm not from this world. I warped here through a meteorite from another world because the evil we'd sealed 30 years ago is beginning to reawaken, so I came to stop it. Evil is reawakening? That's right, big bad evil to the Dark Warlock x -Men. That is the main goal in the game. We haven't met him yet, but we will soon enough. No doubt about it, the power of the four crystals is gathered here. Perfect, we'll use their power to seal x death here. That's where X Death is sealed. We can actually go there, but there's not much to do there except walk around the forest and fight some easy enemies. If we, well, we can't go without a certain mode of transport, but we can go there in this world. But there's nothing there except some random enemies that are like from the beginning of the game. To seal him, I came here once before, 30 years ago. So if all four crystals are destroyed, then X Death seal will be broken as well. Right, oh, my head. Galef. Still, still can't remember clearly. Uh, we can't allow X death to be reborn. Ugh. Galef. Uh, okay. So yeah, basically now we need to prevent the Earth crystal from shattering. Otherwise, X death will be able to be, re be unsealed. So we gotta hopefully prevent that. Now if we go out here and talk. And it doesn't. It'll just say Z Z Z or something. Up like the top. Uh, slump like a top. Hee hee, I sound like the old man. It's finished, we are so awesome. Presenting a boat that will sail without a new land. So we can use this ship to go find the Earth Crystal. Righto, we're counting on you. We'll return to the Library of the Ancients for now. We should be able to find some clues there. Take care of yourselves. We're off. So yeah, now we have a ship at our disposal again. So let's hope we take better care of it than we did with Ferris's ship. Uh, there are random battles. Yeah, did I say that? Yeah, here's the random battles. So uh, actually, I need to equip uh, Thunder Rod. Because most enemies are weak to Thunder Rod here. Unfortunately, we don't have a thunder sound. Wish we had one. Now, there are some places we can go to now that we have a fire charge ship. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go to them soon. Um, so uh, let's see, I wanted to equip one with a uh, thunder. Rod. 
down here, that's the way to the library of the ancients. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna go there for now. And more Sahagans. See, I did a little bit more damage than the uh, Thunder without the Thunder Rod, so keep that in mind. I know there's my other enemies out here, but I guess right now it's just so I've noticed in the Steam version, if you've noticed the Steam Gears or the Steam version, if you're not using a thief, you're getting a lot of back attacks in this version. Is that just me viewers, or does that happen with other people too? Now we're gonna get off here. This is a new place we can explore. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and explore this island. This area, not an island area here. And we got some new enemies at the bottom. I believe we did learn self-destruct at the inside the fire fires, and I believe you can learn it here. Uh, but I already did, so we're not going to worry about it. So we can go in that cave. We will eventually, viewers. But first we're going to go down here where we'll find a new town. So let's explore the new town. Welcome to Jockal. We live in a... The village that are descended from their ancient rock tunnels. <laughs> Sounds like a big deal, do not it? Let's go in the end. Uh, 30 go. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend the night. That way we can recover the uh, MP and hit points that we lost uh, sailing here. Right. Yeah, let's. Uh, so, yeah, if we talk to him. The shops here all sell weapons and armor that are ex excavated from the caves up to the north. My grandpa was an adventurer. He told me there was something kept underneath Crescent Island. That's kind of a hint of where we're supposed to go next, by the way. My pa's an adventurer. He's off adventuring right now. Here we have an item shop. Uh, um, looks like nothing. We don't. Yeah, we're good at weapons and stuff. Or items, I should say. Ever been to Scurry Falls? They're huge and they're supposed to be breathtaking. Man, I want to go. You kids are a foolhardy sense of adventure and trap. The caves up north are full of traps left by the ancients. Watch your step. The spread's always full of adventures trying to find treasure in the northern cave. You go all the way to the cave and then climb the wall, it takes you outside. Wait patient on the roads with the skull switches and the truth will be revealed. Games have been pretty much run through with I know. So most of the treasure chests you'll see have already been looted. You wouldn't think there's much point in checking them out, but try it. Might have something to do with the ancient traps. Here's uh I believe this is the uh uh fourth piano, so let's see, there's one at Tool, one at Carwin, uh one at uh Karnak. Yeah, so this is the fourth one. So four more. So yeah, Barks is getting a little bit better on the piano, as you can hear. Let's talk to the dancer here, and we'll dance some. Come on, you join us. Now this guy joins us. And now they broke the fourth wall. <laughs> so I hope you're all dancing, viewers. <laughs> One more time. So that's the uh, the dance. Yeah, so did you dance, viewers? Just checking the time. Uh, yeah. 
So let's uh, go out here and uh, go around. If you talk to this guy way east of here, there's an island called Crescent Island. Ever heard of it? It really is shaped like a crescent. How ingenuously appropriate. Um, here, we can buy some stuff. Um, I'm going to buy a green barret uh, for later. Um, I am going to buy a ninja suit and give that to birds. And uh, an upgrade for our mage is a savior surplus. We talk to the weapon shop guy. Uh, if we are using the berserker, we have an ogre killer. Uh, I am going to buy an ogre sword. Um, and that's it. To give him the coral sword, that has lightning element on it. And I'm going to equip him with the ninja suit because it has the same defense as a my throw, but it doesn't have his agility and lessens his weight. So that's pretty nice. Um, so the sage's surplus is better than the silk robe. Yes, she's fine. And Caleb, uh, he gets uh, a sage's surplus. Talk to these two. 500 years ago, our ancestors had a great civilization. The ancient realms. Ain't no one allowed to go there, but then young folks nowadays don't pay any heed to nothing. And if we talk to him, we can get some spells you may have missed back in Carnet. Or, yeah, Carnet. The last time we were in Carnet, we wanted to have a fire, because I think it was Carnet. Sorry, I can't think clearly if it was or was, but I'm pretty sure it is Carnet. So now that we've explored that village, we can, well, we could have gone before, but I thought I'd go to the village first. And before we do that, I'm going to turn Gaelic into a Geomancer, because there is an enemy that can kill, be killed by the uh, Gaia ability. So yeah, um, and I'll equip White Mage on it, I guess. They equip the bells that we, that we got earlier, and uh, yeah, so I am going to move everyone to the back row, because the enemy that we might run into is pretty nasty. There's a chance it will run away, but if it doesn't, it, can, it might be able to kill you. This isn't a bad place to gain ability points, so if you don't run into the one enemy and who keeps killing them. So these are from the beginning of the game. I think when we kill them, they'll give about 3 AP. Um, so yeah, see how easy they went down even when I went through. So yeah, we got two ability points, first gain and job level, we got first strike. I believe that gives you the Korean, let's see, let's check out what that does. Uh, yeah, basically it increases your chance of having what's called a preemptive attack and other final fantasies. Now if we wait here a few minutes, uh, one switch will appear, to pitch that, and a path will now be revealed. Some of that was mentioning that, so yeah. And here we get into a battle with more nutkins. In this switch, there's a hidden switch. Flip that and the door opens. Ah, three more nutkins. I'm hoping I'll run into that one at least some point. If you release that guy in prison, Lone Wolf, this treasure would not be here. There'd be a note from him saying that he took this item. That is a weapon for the Beastmaster ability. It's not bad if you're. Oh, here's the enemy. So it's not bad if you're using it. Uh, if you're using that class, but I pretty much did everything I want to do with that class. Yeah, 
using the gay ability, it will uh, kill uh, that enemy, I mean, depending on what he uses. So, like, it wouldn't be something else that we may not have done. So we gained some five ability points, but truthfully, it's not worth trying to farm for those guys because of the fact that they can kill you with the No, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Oh, okay, if Lemon doesn't kill this one, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the AO gun, but... Yeah, I guess even 35 hit points kills up hit point damage. If we go up here, we can climb the wall. If you notice, there's some light coming out of it. And we climb out, we're basically here, so we can save. Remember that exit for much later in the game, because it'll change uh, much later in the game, so keep that in mind. More nuggets. Let's see if I can do it. I'll try and do it. I'll go straight to Gaia again. So that's another ability. And I think that what you fail to fuse can depend on the type of location you're at. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. More nut guns and a back attack. Hey, and your phone's going off. Sorry, that was my wife, uh, my wife's phone going off. What? Sorry about all that. Um, so yeah, now we're pretty much done here for now until much later in the game, viewers. So yeah, just go ahead and leave the, pretty much the way you can. Get into more battles with the mountains on the way out. That's another ability. Now that does a lot of damage. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Um, that position of switching and we can leave. So I'm gonna turn Galeth back into a white mage. With some ability. Give him a healing staff. Give him to have Sage's surplice and uh, Elven Mail. And now we'll hop on our boat and we're heading to the next location. There is one more area we can get to on ship, but I'll do that after I go to the next area, mandatory part of the game. And more Sephagans. Yeah, look at that damn spark skin, now that he has a coral sword. So if you see on the map that we're approaching, this is a Crescent Island. Oh, we got into new, a new enemy, Sea Oaks. Um, these are hard to hit. Um, so yeah, we'll do our best to hit it, but magic does work on it, and we kill them. So it's not too hard, but if you're not using magic for someone, it has a high ability. So something's happening outside. Let's go check it out. And there goes our ship. We did not move it over there, so how it got there, I don't know. Um, but yeah, 
So yeah, there goes our ship again. We are so abusive to ships in this game because this is our second ship and we just got it and it's already, we've pretty much already lost it. This island is blessed. Crops grow on their own and even though it rarely rains, nothing ever seems to need water. There is an inn here. Uh, I'm not going to use it, but we'll talk to some people. You can find the ruins of Runk on the western continent. What's really weird though is that this artifacts found there on the same are the same found ones found on the island. Yo pops, these folks want to know about the chocobos. Hey, this old guy's a kick. Hey, hey, tell us again about the ruins. Yeah, so we won't spend the night at the end. Um, and I think these are more of the same items. Yeah. Oh, we got paid. Sorry, my wife uh, just showed me that we got paid in our bank account, so... Yeah, I got paid for my online ESL job, is what she was pointing out, so yeah. We go in this house, there's a bard in here. A spoony bard. You must be tired from your journey, here's a song for you. He's taking the battle little by little, the energy will, will increase. So we got the Mighty March, uh, what do you call it, the Mighty March uh, song. So, we'll be getting the Bard class soon enough, but that's the first song we can get. And this is the, uh, fifth piano. Personally, I didn't think that was better than the last one, but whatever. So I believe there's just three more pianos of yours. Yeah, there's not much else in this village. I think in the weapon shop you can buy some bows, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, actually, I do want to buy some bows, because I, I do want... We're going to get a new job that uses the uh, bows, and I'll just go ahead and show off the weapon or the armor shop. Is there anything I care about? It doesn't look like it. Because I do want Barts to turn in that new uh, job. Um, for the most part, at this point, for a while, Mystic Knights will only be used for uh, for those. I'll go and buy one of each of these elemental bows. Because he's going to be the uh, that job for a while. And it's not that I like the job class, it's that um, it has an ability that I want to get as soon as possible, but it, you have to pretty much master that job. So here we have a black chocobo forest. What the heck is that? A chocobo? It doesn't look like any chocobo I've ever seen. Whatever it is, I'll catch it. Qui, he's a black chocobo. Oh, this means they aren't extinct after all. Guess not, black chocobos can fly, so giddy up. So we got a black chocobo now. And down we go. Quee. He didn't get any. Did he do brakes on him or something? That funny old man. Sounds like he's got something stuck down his gullet. Oh! Those are the uh, crystal shards that we saw go flying after Karnak blew. They must have been blown here by the explosion of Karnak. That was a long way that they blew. Because he swallowed them, he couldn't fly. We get a bird, a ranger, so the bird and ranger class. There's a few areas I use bird, but th th that's about it. I think there's two areas in the game I use them. Ooh, they're all sticky, but maybe this time he'll be able to fly. Now this part I don't understand. He couldn't fly with those two crystal shards, but now he can fly with four people, plus those two shards, and all of the other equipment we have, so this makes no sense to me, but I guess it's Final Fantasy logic. Now let's uh, look at those two jobs. We have the bard, which is right over here. They equip harps, they sing. I mean, they have their uses, but for the most part, like I said, there's only two places I use them. Um, and then the, uh, where is it? Oh, here it is, the ranger. They use bows and stuff. Um, I don't really like the class except for the master ability you get, so I want Barks to get that as soon as possible, you yeah. know? Uh, let's see, I'll give him the, uh, uh, control, I guess. And I'll give him the flame bow, the green barret, and then just, that's kind of why I bought the green barret back up, uh, John Paul. 
And let's put a Ferris in the front row. So yeah, that's uh, everything we can do at uh, Crescent Island for now. There's a few side quests we're going to do. What we're supposed to do is return to Crescent Island. The report just said that the uh, airship kind of uh, sank. So yeah, that's what we're supposed to do, but we'll do that soon enough. Well, there's two areas we can now explore. We could have explored one of them in the ship, but I thought I'd do it when we got the Black Chocobo. Um, yeah, if we remember this, uh, this is the Wind Shrine. Now we can go over these mountains to a new village. Um, you can't go there later, but, but yeah, we're gonna go now and explore it. And... So yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end here. Thanks for watching, viewers, and take care and bye.